Hey, what's up guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. You are looking at the Bryce two-person tent from Perea Outdoor Products. This is a brand new tent, a new offering on the market for a two-person backpacking tent which comes at a really nice price point of $160. To get something this lightweight with the features that are included at that price point is rare to see. And so I'm really excited to be sharing this with you today because I've been really impressed with the overall quality and the products that Perea has put out. If you've paid attention to the channel so far, you've seen the sleeping bag that they have and also the uh, Seal Nylon Tarp. But we're going to talk specifically about the Bryce two-person tent. This is a really lightweight in a trail weight of 3 pounds 14 ounces. So when you're looking for a tent to add to your backpacking system, this is a great option. Some things to keep in mind about this tent is you've got a single door or a front entry. It is not the dome style tent where you have two doors on either side with two vestibules. This is a single door, which in the world of tents, that actually saves you a little bit of weight because you have less material to worry about. So when you are looking at tents to purchase, this is a great option for a single door front entry. And we're gonna walk around and show you all the specifics about uh, the tent here in a few minutes. But just some basic facts about the tent, you've got a full three season style rain fly here that is made out of a 20 denier ripstop, ripstop nylon and a really nice color. I like the yellow, stands out a lot and uh, I think they've done a good job with that. The floor of the tent is a 70D nylon as well as the included footprint that is also 70D nylon. So the trail weight of this is three pounds, 14 ounces, like I mentioned. It's gonna be a little bit heavier that, than that because of the uh, included things that come with it, like the footprint. But because of the 70D floor, you do have the ability to save some weight by not using the footprint if you want to. There are uh, places that you go to that a footprint isn't necessary. Where you've got a nice bathtub style floor and everything, that's a, a way that you can save weight with this tent. All that's included with this tent is, like I said, the footprint, you've got the tent body, the rain fly, all the guy ropes, and 12 stakes. You've got plenty of options of, of things that you can do to make sure that this gets nice and tight and it's ready for, for the storm. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, the length and some other things about this. It's 85 inches long, which is a good length for a tent this size. There are some tents out there on the market, like from Big Agnes, the Copper Spur reaches about 90 inches, but for a tent like this, 85 inches is a really good length. So if you're around that six foot range, you're gonna be nice and comfortable in the tent. You've got a peak height just under 40 inches, which is just enough for a proper amount of headroom. And then you've got a nice hub style pull system where you've got two pulls that come up in kind of a arc shape and then arcs down the spine and then follows with the arc around the back of the tent. We're gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you some more features of it, but there's a nice feature of breathability added to the rear of the rainfly that will make having some of that breathability and airflow in the tent a little bit better. But let's go ahead and walk around the tent, show you the inside, and then I'm gonna take the rainfly off and show you what the tent looks like without the rain fly attached. So there we go, like I said, the Perea Outdoor Products Bryce two-person tent. Some nice features about this are a lot of reflective type applications to all of the guy lines and the stakeout points. The guy lines are made from a nice, good piece of cord, really nice construction. And let's move around to the back of the tent. So this is what I was talking about. You've got a cool like kickstand thing here that allows you to open up the back of the rainfly here. 
and you've got some nice mesh up in there. When we get inside the tent, I'll show you a little more. But a lot of really good guy out points that allow you to get the tent nice and tight. One thing that I did notice that's not included that you see on tents sometimes are where the guy out points are. You've got a piece of Velcro. In fact, I'll walk up here to the front of the tent. So like right here, for example, sometimes there's a piece of Velcro that attaches to the pole um, that allows a little bit more rigidity of the pole being attached to the rain fly when you guide out, so it helps with the wind. I don't expect that to be an issue with this tent. It's, once it's staked out, it's really tight and uh, seems really stormproof. Nice good sized vestibule in the front of the tent. So why don't we go ahead and open this up. It's a good sized door, I'm not gonna roll that up, but you have the ability to do that. Big enough for at least one backpack and some, some boots. Not sure the exact size of the vestibule, but it's a pretty good size. And then I really like the Nocea mesh that they used here. It's a nice, like thick, uh, really well constructed mesh. Better than what I've seen on some of the other tents that I've had. Large D-shaped opening. And there you go, that's the inside of the tent. So plenty of room, my wife and I laid next to each other in this when I set it up in the living room. And it had a lot of shoulder space, plenty of room for two people, extremely comfortable for one person. But as you can see, you've got a nice bathtub style floor that comes up several inches from the side. Lots of vent and breathability. Obviously you can see because there's mesh through the entire top of the tent. That does make it a little bit lighter weight. And the nice thing about that is here at the end where you do have that added vent, you've got the option to have even more breathability uh, because hot air is gonna rise and it's gonna go outside of that uh, piece of the tent. One of my favorite things about this tent is the two pockets that are high above the floor of the tent. I don't love it when a pocket gets sewn down here and then hangs down onto the ground. So it's nice to see a pocket there. And then you've got a nice pocket there. You do also have here at the top of the tent a little ring, which is going to be really nice for hanging a headlamp or a lantern of some kind, uh, whatever lighting piece you may have for the tent. All of the seams are fully seam taped. That is a huge, huge plus. Nice to see that on the tent. And plenty of headroom. So I'm sitting up kind of at the apex of the, of the tent. It, because it doesn't have a mid pole that pushes the sidewalls out a little bit more, it's not as wide on the sides as you would see from some tents, but if you are just trying to save a little bit of weight, then this is a really nice option because one person can be sitting down at the bottom of the tent, one person can be sitting at the top, or in my case, I may use this more for myself, backpacking with my dog, and so there's plenty of space for myself and my dog to be in here, and just a really, really well done tent. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Okay, so now that we've got the rain fly off, I wanted to show you the body of the tent. One of the things that you can do with this tent is go a fast and light route, which means you can leave the body of the tent behind, use the included footprint, and do a fast pitch using just the footprint and the rain fly. So that is an option for you on this tent, but I wanna show you kind of the specifics of the pole system and the size of the tent without the rain fly on. So like I said, you've got a hub style aluminum pole. Nice construction of the pole system. These are not DAC poles, which most people should be familiar with, but they are an aluminum pole, which is nice to see on a tent at this price point. Really well done design. I like how vertical they do get the, the walls and everything. 
pretty standard setup for how the feet go into the grommet. A nice nylon strap, and then you've got a nice hard plastic clip that the rainfly attaches to. Really good sewn construction of the seams of the nylon. You can see a really nice thick 70D nylon on here. Everything about this is just fantastic. I'm really happy with it and uh, excited to take this out on the trail, really use it, put it through its paces. The nice thing too is uh, because of how this stakes out and how it's set up, you can see how tight this actually is. And that's a nice bonus because sometimes you don't get a mesh that is this tight. And I like to see that on, on the tent. Just one more look around. Here's the big D-shaped door. Large interior space. Everything about it is really nice. There you go, guys. That is the Bryce two-person tent from Perea Outdoor Products. Like I said, very happy with the tent. Really well made and uh, a lot of space comes in. Roughly about four pounds is what you're going to be. Just over four pounds total for a tent like this. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you are not and uh, we'll catch you out on the mountains later.